Have you ever wondered what it would be like to journey back to the past or leap into the future? This tantalizing question has captivated the human imagination for centuries. The possibility of time travel, the ability to traverse timeline just as we traverse space, is an idea that has long been entrenched in our collective psyche. Indeed, the concept of time travel is a staple of many of our most beloved stories and films. From H.G. Wells, The Time Machine, to the Back to the Future trilogy, and even to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, with its recent foray into time-bending narratives, the idea of voyaging through the temporal landscape has been a recurring motif in science fiction. These tales of time-hopping adventurers and altered histories have fueled our fascination and continue to inspire us to ask, can we really travel through time? But the concept of time travel is not confined to the realm of fiction and fantasy. It's also a subject of serious scientific discussion. Physicists, cosmologists, and theorists have pondered over the possibility and implications of time travel. Theoretical constructs like wormholes, black holes, and the intricacies of Einstein's theory of relativity all hint at the tantalizing possibility that time travel might, just might, be within the realms of reality. However, it's important to note that while the idea of time travel is intriguing, it's also complex and full of paradoxes. It's a concept that challenges our understanding of the universe and our place in it. It beckons us to question the nature of time, reality, and our own existence. So, whether driven by a desire for adventure, a thirst for knowledge, or simply an insatiable curiosity, we find ourselves drawn to the mysteries of time travel. It's a journey that promises excitement, discovery, and perhaps a whole new way of understanding the universe. It's time to embark on a journey, exploring the concept of time travel. Understanding time travel begins with understanding time itself. So, what exactly is time? From a scientific perspective, time is more than the ticking of a clock. It's a fundamental concept that governs the order of events. In physics, time is often considered the fourth dimension, joining the three spatial dimensions in what we call the space-time fabric. This fabric is a four-dimensional structure where events occur. It's like a cosmic stage on which the drama of the universe unfolds. Imagining time as a dimension can be a challenge because we're used to thinking of dimensions as something we can see and move around in. But time is a bit different. We move forward in time, second by second, minute by minute, unavoidably. Yet we can't go back and forth in time as we can with the spatial dimensions. This forward motion of time is what physicists refer to as the arrow of time. It's the concept that gives us a sense of past, present, and future. The arrow of time also explains why we remember yesterday but not tomorrow and why we grow older, not younger. In the realm of theoretical physics, the idea of time intertwines with space, creating the concept of space-time. This concept was introduced by Albert Einstein's theory of relativity. According to this theory, space and time are part of the same fabric. They bend and warp in response to mass and energy, creating what we perceive as gravity. This curvature of space-time is what allows planets to orbit stars and apples to fall from trees. It's also the reason why time passes slightly slower on the top of a mountain than at sea level. This effect, known as time dilation, is proof that time is not a constant, but a variable that can be influenced by gravity and speed. With this understanding of time, we can now delve into how time travel could theoretically happen. The concept of time as a dimension, the arrow of time, and the space-time fabric all play crucial roles in our journey to comprehend the possibility of time travel. So, let's take a leap into the future, or perhaps a step into the past. Traveling back in time, a concept that sparks our imagination and curiosity. It's a premise that has fueled countless science fiction narratives and has been the subject of many a late-night debate. But is it really possible? Could we, one day, journey into the past? Let's explore the principles and theories that could potentially make this a reality. First, we have the concept of wormholes. These are theoretical passages through space-time that could create shortcuts for long journeys across the universe. Wormholes are predicted by the theory of general relativity, but beware, they're not as simple as they sound. They would require a substance with negative energy density to keep them open, and such a substance has yet to be discovered. Then, there's the theory of relativity, put forth by the brilliant mind of Albert Einstein. This theory allows for the possibility of time dilation, a difference in the elapsed time measured by two observers due to a velocity difference relative to each other, or to a gravitational field. In simpler terms, time can run slower the closer you are to a massive object, due to gravity. But to reverse the flow of time? 
That would require an object with infinite mass, a concept that's currently beyond our grasp. Another theory involves cosmic strings, narrow tubes of energy stretched across the entire length of the ever-expanding universe. These thin regions left over from the early cosmos are predicted to contain huge amounts of mass and therefore could warp the space-time around them. Cosmic strings are either infinite or they're in loops, with no ends, scientists say. The approach of two such strings parallel to each other would bend space-time so vigorously and in such a particular configuration that might make time travel possible, in theory. While these theories open the door to the possibility of backward time travel, they also bring about some paradoxes. But that's a topic for our next segment. For now, let's marvel at the complexity and the mystery of our universe, where even the wildest of ideas could potentially become reality. Imagine going back in time and changing an event that alters your present. It sounds thrilling, right? But hold on tight, because when we start toying with time, we encounter some rather perplexing paradoxes. Let's start with the infamous grandfather paradox. Visualize this. You construct a time machine and travel back to a time when your grandfather was a youngster, long before your parents were born. Now suppose you accidentally or intentionally cause your grandfather's premature demise. This would mean your parents could never be born and consequently, neither could you. But if you weren't born, then how could you have traveled back in time to affect your grandfather's fate? That's the crux of the grandfather paradox, a conundrum that has left scientists and philosophers scratching their heads for decades. But wait, there's another twist in the tale of time travel, the bootstrap paradox. This paradox is named for the phrase pulling yourself up by your bootstraps, which is essentially what happens in this time travel scenario. Suppose you're a time traveler who loves Beethoven's music. You travel back to the 1800s, carrying all of Beethoven's symphonies on your smartphone. There, you meet a young Beethoven and end up giving him the music from your phone. Beethoven then copies this music and becomes the famous composer we all know. But here's the question. Where did the music originate? This is the bootstrap paradox, a closed loop in time with no clear beginning or end. These paradoxes pose significant challenges to the concept of time travel. If we could travel back in time and alter events, we'd risk creating paradoxes that could unravel the very fabric of our reality. The grandfather paradox throws causality into question, while the bootstrap paradox challenges our understanding of cause and effect. These paradoxes leave us pondering, but what about traveling to the future? Leaping into the future, a concept that is less paradoxical, yet equally fascinating. As we've previously discussed, time travel isn't solely about popping back to the dinosaur era or preventing historical disasters. No, it also encompasses the possibility of jumping into the future, a concept that is as tantalizing as it is mind-bending. Let's start by talking about time dilation, a theory that is a cornerstone of Einstein's theory of relativity. According to this theory, time passes at different rates for different observers, depending on their velocity and gravitational field. This means that if you were to embark on a high-speed journey into space and then return to Earth, you might find that more time has passed here than for you. In essence, you've traveled into the future. Now this isn't just theoretical. GPS satellites, for instance, have to account for time dilation to provide accurate location data. Because they're farther from Earth's gravitational pull and moving faster than us, their clocks run slightly faster. Without adjustments, the system would be off by about 7 microseconds a day. Doesn't sound like much, but that's enough to throw your location off by miles. Another potential vehicle for forward time travel is black holes. These celestial objects have such a powerful gravitational pull that they distort both space and time. Now it's a bit tricky, as no one has ever ventured into a black hole and lived to tell the tale. But theoretically, if you were to orbit a black hole without falling in, time would pass slower for you than for an observer far away. When you finally pull away from the black hole, you'll find that you've leapfrogged into the future. It's important to note that these are just theories. We're still a long way from building a DeLorean capable of zipping us into the year 3000, but the principles of time dilation and black holes provide a tantalizing glimpse into the potential reality of forward time travel. As we can see, the concept of forward time travel is a little more within our grasp. So far we've discussed time travel as a theoretical concept, but have we ever witnessed it in practice? Let's delve into the realm of practical examples of time travel, ones we experience in our daily lives without even realizing it. 
you might be surprised to know that time travel in a sense is already happening around us. Let's start with the world of physics. Consider the case of atomic clocks on airplanes. These are some of the most precise timekeeping devices we've ever created. Now, imagine we take two identical atomic clocks. We leave one on the ground and put the other on a fast-moving airplane. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, the clock on the airplane, moving at high speed, will tick slower compared to the one on the ground. When the airplane lands and we compare the two clocks, we'll find that the one from the airplane is slightly behind. This is a form of time dilation, a real-world example of time travel into the future. Another example can be seen in the operation of our Global Positioning System, or GPS. The satellites that make GPS work are moving at high speeds in high orbit, and their onboard atomic clocks experience time differently than clocks on Earth's surface. To ensure accuracy, these time differences caused by both special and general relativity have to be accounted for. If they weren't, GPS coordinates would be off by several kilometers. So, while these instances might not be as dramatic as hopping into a DeLorean and zipping off to the past or future, they are practical examples of time travel as predicted by physics. These examples highlight that time is not a fixed entity but rather something that can be influenced by factors like speed and gravity. These instances show that, in a way, time travel is already a part of our reality. We have taken a journey through time, exploring its intriguing possibilities. Our exploration began with the fundamental concept of time, a concept that has puzzled and fascinated scientists, philosophers, and dreamers alike for centuries. We delved into the idea that time is not just a linear progression of moments but a dimension in itself, and how this understanding opens up the possibility of moving through time as we move through space. As we ventured further, we grappled with the idea of backward time travel, a concept steeped in mystery and riddled with challenges. The notion of returning to a past moment, to relive an experience, or to alter the course of history is, after all, a tantalizing prospect. Yet it's one fraught with paradoxes, those intriguing and perplexing problems that emerge when we try to reconcile the laws of physics with our intuitive understanding of time. We discussed the infamous grandfather paradox, where a time traveler's actions could potentially prevent their own existence, leading to a logical contradiction and the bootstrap paradox, a mind-bending scenario where an object or piece of information sent back in time becomes trapped in an infinite cause and effect loop with no discernible origin. But time travel isn't just about moving back. We also explored the concept of forward time travel, a possibility supported by Einstein's theory of relativity. The idea that time can be manipulated, that it can run at different speeds depending on one's velocity and proximity to a gravitational field, is not just a science fiction trope, but a scientific reality, albeit one that we are yet to harness in any practical sense. Our journey through time didn't stop at theory. We looked at instances of time dilation in practice, from GPS satellites compensating for microseconds of difference to the time-traveling astronauts aboard the International Space Station. Whether time travel will ever be fully realized remains to be seen. But one thing is for sure, the journey through time will continue to captivate our minds.